coming up. Here we are testing the new three wheel structures. Here we are testing some electric scooters and also a wheel. We have here a three wheel traction scooter. It's not a normal one. It's a prototype from A2O Spain. We have also here a normal one, it's electric scooter A2O with 700 watts, uh, 15 amperes battery and it has also both wheels with traction. These two wheel tractions, it helps a little bit on the snow but we are actually riding on ice, not just the snow. This means there is nothing else to do you, you just need to keep your balance stay on the electric scooter because you only need a miracle to go clearly good we're here just for test all of the electric vehicles we have like you can see we have three options the three wheel traction the two wheel traction and the wheel just on one wheel is this one I didn't know if this will ha will have any kind of traction on the ice but I was really surprised the reason is because it goes really really well like you can see it's really steady the size of the wheel helps you when there is more snow if there is too much ice and it's a lot of inclination it's impossible you just fall down but uh, if it's not really high mountain and it's like this it's a flat place or it was a little like three fingers of snow there is no problem but when there is more than four fingers you are stuck you the wheel goes inside the snow and you cannot move whatever you try it's it's obviously it's not possible physically but when the snow it's a little bit stronger or even on the ice you can go with any problem and like you can see all of the scooters goes really good with the ice I was testing here the brakes from the wheel because I didn't know to hit anyone just I was trying to brake as hard as I can and it was not much much different than with a normal road but yes here we were trying something even stronger I was trying to go up to the hill but it was obviously not possible it, it, it is it is not physically the wheels just go inside the snow and there is no way to go out it's you go inside and you gotta stop not else to do anyway I have to say it was so much fun I, I, we were trying to to see where was the limit from the electric scooters and when you have a the power in your hands and you can do something like this like trying to slide on the snow or in the ice on the that on the ice the possibilities are much much bigger here we have the helmet I was using today. It was motocross helmet. I don't recommend any other helmet. The motocross helmets are tested for really hard impacts and they are much, much safer. And here we are. Another thing I want to say is when the, you fall down with the wheel, you are not really falling down. You just put your feet out of the wheel and you just touch the floor. You are going really slow, like 15 per hour or even 10 or not more than 20 and you can run at 20 this means you can just put your feet out of this wheel or the electric scooter and this is it I, I did not fall in all the day it was just kind of this just trying to find the limits from the snow and the electric scooter because that was the fun part <laughs> when you just almost fun. That's where the adrenaline, adrenaline came. The three wheels 
it was the more funny one because it was more complicated to fall down. There was a little problem. That problem is when there is too much snow on the scooter and it's not possible to stay on the scooter when you have snow under your feet. This problem is also with the other two ones. Okay, I'm speaking too much. Yeah, this, this is experience. With the three wheels, it's so much fun because you have so many things to do. I fall down. Here I am for the first time trying to go faster and faster. I was feeling much comfort on the wheel. I have to say it was my favorite vehicle because, I don't know, maybe for the size of the wheel it let you do more stuff, but I have to say my experience on the wheel, it's not really long I've been with wheels for just one week um, I'm not an expert, but uh, like you can see if I'm not an expert and I can go on the snow in these conditions it means everyone can This is the Emotion 10 app. Not a lot of people is used to see this kind of vehicles anywhere and on the ice much less. This was a more difficult place I tried it because there is kind of inclination and there was a soft snow and some ice but there was no problem, it was easy, easy, easy peasy. I was so happy. <laughs> Another thing I want to say, it's so, so fun. I don't know, it's... It's fun everywhere with this kind of vehicle because the possibilities are a lot and you have a long range to learn. You can jump, you can do a lot of things. I don't know yet because I'm a beginner, but uh, the possibilities with this kind of vehicle are so big. And here I am trying to break, trying to to see how complicated it is to turn to the left or right with a little bit of inclination. And yes, it was easy, kind of easy. I, I didn't expect this kind of compatibility there is with the snow. This is one of my falls. I have to say, I did not hurt myself in any of the falls. It was just putting my feet outside the wheel, nothing else. Okay, this is the video. Thank you for watching. I don't want to talk a little bit more. You just had the idea, and I was wanted wonder just to share with you how this was going. And this is it. Here's a fall. Okay, this is the vlog. Thank you for watching. This was a testing from electric tools to go. 
and I think not a lot of people tested them on the snow but it's so fun it's so possible to go even with ice the only problem is when there are more than four fingers of snow in that point you have some problems for the traction and you lose it cannot go in front but whatever we try it all of the scooters and all of them are so fun lovely day lovely weather lovely everything thank you for watching see you next video bye